Hello and welcome to the Airbrush Show from Scale War Machines. When it comes to model making, an airbrush is an essential piece of kit. So here at the Airbrush Show, we like to review the best products for model makers. Here's what we'll be road testing this time. In today's episode, we've got something very different when it comes to airbrushes. If you're used to a world of metal airbrushes and metal components, this is totally different. It's called an Aztec. Most modelers will be familiar with the Aztec airbrush. It uses totally different components and materials and takes an innovative approach. As you can see, it's mainly plastic and that creates a very different feel when you're airbrushing. This is the A470 airbrush and we've been sent this for review. We'll just open it up and have a look. Before we do that though, it's important to know that we have used an Aztec for years. Here's our Aztec set, still going strong, and it actually contains the same airbrush. A bit more battered and a bit more weathered, but it still proudly displays its lifetime guarantee and it's still going strong. And the key with this system is the interchangeable nozzles. There's all different types and they're all color graded and they very simply screw in. We're gonna have a look at the new one that was sent to us and we're gonna road test it. What comes inside the packet? You've got the airbrush, First thing you notice is how light it is compared to a metal one. It comes with a wrench that is to attach the nozzle. You get one grey nozzle which is the 0.4mm nozzle. It's kind of the medium nozzle. The nozzles screw in like so. The wrench enables you to tighten and loosen like so. It also enables you to clean out parts of the airbrush. You get a hose, a paint cup. If you remember from our set, you do get all sorts of different bottles and paint cups available in the Aztec accessories range. This is exceptionally light compared to a metal airbrush. If you're someone who suffers from RSI or somebody who doesn't like to spray using a heavy metal airbrush for long periods, this could be perfect. We've screwed in the nozzle, tightened it with the wrench and we're going to do some spraying. Well, we've got some flat gull grey here, which we've poured into the paint cup. We've added a little a tiny amount of thinners just to thin it down a bit. We're going to connect it up and spray. There's a nice smooth action straight out of the box. Let's try and fill in a square with comprehensive cover. So it's pretty fine and controllable. The Aztec is of course a double action, so the more you spray back, the more paint you get coming through. That's its maximum spread. Let's see if we can get a fine line going. You can get pretty fine lines. If you're trying to do a very fine camouflage pattern, you can just about do it with this nozzle, but you may want to swap out for a finer nozzle, and that's the beauty of the Aztec system, and we're just going to do that now. Put it to one side, screw in the new one, give it a tighten, and we're going to see what happens. Let's see if we can attempt some fine line camouflage. As you can see, some really fine lines are possible. It's every bit as capable as a metal airbrush. To test out the Aztec, we're going to use our Bronco Staghound armoured car and some enamel Model Master paints. We're going to firstly prime it in flat black. We'll be using the extractor and a mask. So we'll give a running commentary as best as we can as we go along, but you'll be able to see how the Aztec behaves on a real world project. How about helping us out by doing this? And then we'll top coat with olive drab using the fine nozzle and needle. We'll progressively lighten with green zinc chromate and then radome tan.
here, we're just drying off the first coat with a hairdryer. Next, we use the Aztec to spray a lighter coat with a bit of green zinc chromate added before finishing off with the lightest coat using radome tan mixed in. As we went along, we decreased the paint volume using the paint flow adjustment dial at the rear of the A470. And there you have it, a fine and even finish using an innovative and lightweight Aztec A470 airbrush. We could then seal it and it's ready for weathering. We have to say the Aztec performed really well. It's simple to use, accurate and precise. Its double action system is uncomplicated and smooth. We found it was easy to adjust paint volume with just a turn of a dial and the whole airbrush is light and can be used for hours on end. Plus you've got those simple nozzle and needle changes. So if you fancy something a bit different, the A470 airbrush is highly recommended. We really hope you've enjoyed watching this airbrush show episode. Please don't forget to give us a Facebook like or show your support by getting involved in our Facebook community, Google Plus community or by following us on Twitter. That's all for now from the Airbrush Show. We hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more how-to guides from Scale War Machines. Bye for now. Subscribe for our latest videos.